Well, the devices themselves are quite small. For example, here's an example of the actual electrode that is used, okay? And this electrode is placed in a very specific area in the brain, deep inside the brain. And it's so specific that we can predict how people actually do with a deep brain stimulation. So we actually go through an exercise with the patient. I like for them to think of themselves at their best during the day. And for Parkinson's patients, it's usually late in the morning or early in the afternoon when they're kind of at their best. And then I ask them to think of themselves as being a little bit better than that, but then being like that all of the time. That's the key to all of this. And the, and the other aspects of it is that they're taking maybe about half of the medications that they usually take, and they're not having any side effects of the medications. So that's what's involved when we put one of these small electrode devices deep inside the brain. The other component of it is the battery. Okay, it's obviously a little bit bigger. Now with time, these are gonna get smaller. Uh, but this is, in, this is implanted in the chest area, much like a heart pacemaker. It's a brain pacemaker, okay? And then this electrode that I had, this is then connected to the brain pacemaker. And this is where the magic happens because the actual stimulation is adjustable and it's reversible and it's programmable. And this programming is done right in the office. You know, you come into the office dressed casually as you usually are and we just wave a little um, portable device or a remote over the battery itself which is underneath the skin and that way we can pro program and adjust the stimulation to maximize the therapeutic effects and the benefits of stimulation.